Dave Waymoy in his corner. And here's Joey Contrada stepping out into the ring, taking his time. This will be his 19th amateur bout, while Dionis Dume will be involved in his 18th. So two seasoned Class B fighters about to go at it right here. For the official introductions, we send it to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for five more rounds of action. Full rules Muay Thai out of the 140-pound weight class. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the black trunks with the silver and gold trim and weighing in at 141. He represents Rajazi Muay Thai with a record of 12 and 5. From Boston, Massachusetts, El Tigre, Diana Dume. All right, and fighting out of the blue corner tonight, he's wearing the black trunks with the white trim and weighing in at 140 pounds. He represents King's Combat Fitness with a record of 9 and 9 from Bushwick, Brooklyn, Joey Contrada. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. We want a nice, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. Remain until I call you out. Any questions over here? No. Any questions over here? Oh, fight fair. Oh, fight hard. Our live coverage of Friday Night Fights continues from the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. And here we go. Joey Contrada and Dionis Dume are underway in the first of a scheduled five rounds. Well, Contrada just went upstairs with that right kick, and it was hidden well. Full rules Muay Thai at the Class B level. 140 pounders locking up here. Joey Contrada and Dionis Dume. Big age gap between these two guys. Dume is 23 years of age. Contrada is 36. But Contrada's had a lot of action in this ring. And around the New York City area, 9-9 nine and nine record at Muay Thai. Dume is 12-5 and five with a KO to his credit. And an elbow-filled brawl with Matt Cran his last time out back in December. That Primo Bellarosa and I had the pleasure of calling. But right now it's clinching and knees. The order of the day so far in round one between Contrada and Dume. Dume has a really nice, he steps back and he throws a swing knee with his left knee. He's scoring pretty well with it. Dume's in the black trunks with the gold stars. Contrada in the black trunks with the white stripes. Contrada sticking some knees in as well. That's one thing about Joey. He is hard to kind of get off his game plan. He's very calm in there. He's had a lot of experience, a lot of rounds in there. Yeah, he sticks to what he knows for sure. Not afraid to mix it up. Trading knees with Dionis Dume. Yeah, pretty even in the clinch so far. Both guys very comfortable to just stay in the clinch, trade knees back and forth. Uh, Katrada just tried to off balance Dume. Dume came back, got his balance, started throwing knees. And Chris Wagner, our referee, no reason to break these men up. They're both doing a lot of tremendous work right now in the clinch. Yeah, they're both they're both steady working. I mean, I, I'd like to. Wow, they just spent an entire round in the clinch. First round in the clinch. That's got to make a, a, a trainer and coach like yourself feel good, Primo, to see a guy, or two guys going back and forth like they're kneeing, kneeing a pad in the gym, but they're just yeah. throwing back each other on rib cages. I like I like to see tough fighters. You know, I'd like to I'd like to think that I train tough fighters. My favorite fighters to watch are tough. Two tough guys in there right now. Neither guy's going to back up. Both guys are going to try to do damage the entire time. And of course, Primo Bellarosa, the head coach at Vision Quest Muay Thai. In Westchester, New York, double duty tonight. Coaching one of his fighters, Michael Salazar, earlier and helping out Mark Beecher from Aina Muay Thai in Houston, who oversaw another victory from Romel Canales earlier in the night on our undercard. But now Primo comes to the broadcast table to take us home on the main portion of our card live from New York City. Round two of a scheduled five between Contrada and Dume. Right to it again. Touch gloves right into the clinch. Dume 
Wraps the backs of his hands, wraps his hands around the back of Contrada's neck, neck and pulls him down basically right on top of himself. So far, these two guys are very evenly matched. You'll watch, they'll get a break, both guys will throw a kick. They'll both go in to get the clinch. I mean, it, it, they're almost fighting mirror images of each other at this point. Contrada, very adaptable in there. He can go tit for tat with anybody in his weight class. Again, we haven't seen him on Friday Night Fights since last May, but he did fight in February. Pardon me, in November, I should say, at the USMTO tournament. Dumay fought in February and beat Sean Gorman to pick up his 12th win. Now on the break, as Primo Bellarosa called just moments ago, a piston-like kick from Dionis Dumay. Yeah, that's what you need. So what's happening here is when they are getting a break from the clinch, Dumay is throwing. He's throwing a kick, he's throwing, a, he's throwing an outside knee, and that's where he's starting to take over. That, that action right there resulted in the throw that he, that he just got on Contrada. Dumay muscles off Contrada for a moment, but Joey right back to work inside. No room to work for either of these men. It's been clinch central so far, a clinic of clinching between Dumay and Contrada. Contrada's starting to look like he's getting a little weary. A little tangle up at the ropes there. Referee Wagner breaks it and they get right back at it. Down and dirty, Joey Contrada and Dionis Dume right now. No rest for the weary. Knees and knees and some more knees in the clinch. You see right there after the touch of the gloves, Contrada tried to, tried to come inside with the quick elbow, but Dume, good reflex, is able to prepare himself for that. Yeah, both these guys are on all the time. And really the only separation in that round was right there, Primo, right there yeah. on the break. As you called, Dume able to fire that left leg as soon as there was a little bit of space. That was pretty much it. Other than that, these two guys were in a phone booth the whole fight. Right in the, the, right in the clinch the entire time, yeah. Now we get set for round number three. Dume getting instructions from his trainer, Francisco you know, Ramos, the head man at Rajasi Muay Thai in Boston. I think some somebody's gonna have to do something different. You know what I mean? Both guys are in the clinch. They're both beating each other up. Like I said, I think in that round, Dume edged the round out when they weren't in the clinch. Because it's very it's very even in the clinch right now, you know? I think I think the winner of this fight is gonna be the guy that changes it up a little bit. Round three underway between Contrada and Dume. And Contrada with a turn and dump there. The King's Combat Fitness product, student of Dave Waymoy. Takes a couple of body kicks though from Dume. That's really been the only separator, like Primo just said. Yeah, and here they are, right right back, chest to chest, going at it. Dume just shoved Contrada into the, into the ropes, then didn't use the bounce afterwards. I like to see a guy, when he, when he shoves a guy into the ropes, he's gonna get a little bounce back, try to throw a hard knee, try to get a little bit of a dump if you can. And here we go, back to the wrestling match with some knees mixed in. Again, you're watching Friday Night Fights live from New York City's Broad Street Ballroom, everybody. So glad you could be with us for our latest chapter on the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. Aria Lagami ringside with Primo Bellarosa taking in Dionis Dume and Joey Contrada right now. We're in round three of a scheduled five at 140 pounds and Dume in the black trunks with the gold stars seeming to Gain a little bit of an edge in the clinch here with those back and forth knees, those switching knees to the rib cage of Contrada. Yeah, there'll, there'll be a separation. Each guy will throw one kick and then right back into the clinch again. Hey, Contrada's can... starting to edge the clinch game right now. Both men with their hooks into each other as Joey barrels forward and tries to get the only soft balance, but it's Dume with the turn. And nice sportsmanship there, helping up his opponent in the middle of a round. <laughs> really nice to see. Nice catch and shoot there by Dume. Grabbed the foot of Contrada, then winged an overhand right across the top. 
It appears as though both fighters tonight have just agreed to a clinch fight. They've both agreed, we're gonna, we're gonna touch gloves, we're gonna clinch. If we get a separation, we'll throw a little bit and then we'll clinch again. Look at some of the action here, and it may look like some of our replays from the earlier rounds, although that was a nice turn there by Contrada. But most of the notable exchanges happen in this position right here. Clinch for clinch. So we have yeah, one nice turn by Contrada, another one later on by Dume. It's really yeah, good tip yeah, for well, and in, and, in, and in both dumps that happened, the uh, guy that got, that got thrown or dumped was able to drag the other guy down with him. And that negates a little bit of the throw. Uh, if, you, if you can throw a guy or dump him and he hits the ground and you stay standing, that shows a lot of dominance uh, to the judges. When you, when you throw a guy and he pulls you down, eh, you threw him, but was it just loss of balance? It doesn't show as much control. Round four, Dume tries to go to the inside of Contrada's lead leg. Nice elbow out of that. Threw, threw a quick knee and then popped his arm out and threw a nice right elbow, Dume. Dume trying with the down elbow, didn't happen for him. Again, back to the blue collar battle in here in the clinch. Dume trying to muscle Contrada off of him. He had a nice turn right there to, to put Contrada into the corner. What he tried to do was, was turn him hard and let him go and throw something. But when he let go of Contrada, Contrada didn't cooperate. He kept hanging on, gave Contrada the, the advantage. We should mention Dume, last time he fought, he fought at 150 pounds. This is a 140 pound bout, so you would expect a little more strength in his corner, but Contrada not giving up a thing to Dume, although Contrada eats a thudding body kick with the left leg there from Dume before Dume slips and falls. Down elbow try again from Dume in the final seconds of round four. Contrada caught up in the ropes briefly. Boy, Contrada's tough. That was a nice up elbow that Contrada threw from the break. And he ate a body kick for his trouble as well on the way back in. And there's the bell coming in round four any second. Dume trying to load up with the down elbow. Contrada kind of waves it away. This fight, this, this round dragging on right now. Might have a missed time here, Primo. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not seeing our clock on our screen. I think we're over two there minutes. There's a go. 10 second counter. I think this, I think this round might have gone long here. My mistake, a two minute round as scheduled as Contrada and Dume muscle up for two more minutes. Man, this is a super, super close fight that we got here, Ariel. Both guys, I mean, both guys are very technical in the clinch. Both guys are very tough in the clinch. And 98 to 99% of this fight has been spent in the clinch. That was the, that was the couple of body kicks there. One, really one flush from Dume. Yeah, the loss of balance there from the kicks may have won Contrada the, the, the round. But really, that was that kick to the midsection. That really is the separator in that round. I mean, I That's don't see it. anything else that really dominant for either side. And I say Contrada is so tough because he's given up 13 years to Dionis Dume. Dionis Dume is a young kid. Joey Contrada is 36 years old. He's been around the block, and he's going shot for shot with Dume right now. Right in there with Dume. And Dumais. you see the yeah. respect Dume and Contrada have for each other. Dionis Dume and Joey Contrada in round five of a scheduled five. And again, a clinch of Nefes back in action. Rajasi Muay Thai product, Dionis Dume wearing the black trunks with the gold stars. Joey Contrada out of Kings Combat Fitness in Queens, New York, wearing the black with white stripes. Both of these young, both of these men are Boston, Massachusetts natives, but Dionis Dume fights out of Boston and Rajasi Muay Thai. Joey Contrada calls New York home now. This fight's got to still be on the line here, Primo. It really has to be. I mean, Contrada came out hot. Really, I think he felt the pressure. He felt like, 
you know, he, ha he had to be super active in order to, in order to pull this out. Now he's faded a little bit. Contrada, or, or uh, Dume is starting to push forward. Vicious knee for Dume. You can hear that from right here at ringside. That was, that was a hard right knee that he just threw. A couple of clubbing knees to the ribcage of Contrada. And boy, Joey keeps on coming, but I think Dume's starting to get a little separation here, Primo. Yeah, Dume looks to slowly be wearing Contrada down in this round. You can tell Contrada is trying hard. He knows he's tired, he knows he needs the edge. Look at the look on Contrada's face. Listen to the noise he's making when he's kneeing. He's, he's working hard. He knows that he needs to win this, but I think that Dume might be wearing him down a little. And you can see the fair-skinned Contrada with that reddening on the rib cages, the rib cage area. Those knees starting to pile up from Dume. Yeah, it's always tough. You look, you look, you know, you look at the ribs of Contrada. He, you know, the kid's an alabaster assassin, and and it looks like he might have gotten beat up. But at the end of the day, he landed at least as many knees as Dume landed. But down the stretch there, Primo Dume really was loading up and finding a home with those knees. He was he was pounding away at the obliques of Joey Contrada. Yeah, I think Dume had just a little bit more, landed just a little bit harder in that last round. Uh, I've said it probably nearly every every broadcast we've had, Ariel. I am super happy that I'm not, that I don't have to judge this. I got to sit, watch a fantastic fight, and I am not responsible for, well, for picking a winner. The fans watching us from around the world, live from New York City, also happy you're not a judge, Primo, because they get to hear your expert commentary. <laughs> And then you can critique the judges' decisions, whatever they may be. I can sit back and say they did a horrible job. Exactly. It's not a bad perch. Completely within your right. <laughs> Again, you're watching Friday Night Fight. Still to come, a championship matchup between Carmen Corchado and Charles E. Maynard, followed by a pro kickboxing bout between Pavel Zawistowski and Vince McGinnis. And then our main event of the evening, Sammy the Bull Mongonia takes on Tehran, the Tornado Hassanov. So still three more big fights coming your way as soon as we get the decision between Contrada and Dume. For the official decision of Dume and Contrada, we go to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after five grueling rounds, we do have a winner. But first we go to the judge's scorecard. Judge A sees this 49-46. Judge B sees this 49-46. Judge C sees this 50-45. In a unanimous decision in favor of El Tigre, Dianes Dume. Well, Primo, a unanimous decision win for Dionis Dume. We only see Joey Contrada get one round on two judges' sc scorecards, a clean sweep on the other judges' scorecards for Dume, but really just not indicative of how close that fight was at yeah, all. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, Ariel. Uh, you know, somebody has to win each round. In a close round, both guys landed a lot, 